Hello. Hello. What a week we've had. <laughs> it's been immense. It has, immense is the best word. We've yeah. had three really, well, always Sam got busy weeks, but three busy weeks and one absolutely fantastic week. We drove all the way up to Scotland, took our time about it because we were guests at the wedding of the year. <laughs> Colin and Sean retaking their vows in Ardross Castle. Yeah, what a fantastic, <clears throat> the whole experience. Number one, we were so honoured to be invited, although we'd been friends for years. Yeah. Um, we knew we had to go, but we nearly didn't make it because we had nowhere for the dogs. Obviously, they couldn't go to a castle wedding um, and they've never been in kennels. But hook and by crook, I found a dog sitter online that let them stay in the house, had them in the house. They've been treated like royalty. They've been on the bed. They've been I sleeping know. on the sofas. They've had extra walks and treats. Yeah. They've had a really good time. And the dog sitter just kept sending us photographs of the whole, through the whole weekend. Yeah. So it really made us relax yeah. and uh, enjoy what was a, an amazing event even more. Yeah, it was. And I think they were actually a bit reluctant to come back with us. I think they quite liked it. <laughs> anyway, the wedding, the wedding. That's just speechless when we drove up the driveway of the castle and what you see is just a typical Scottish castle really, but it is absolutely stunning. Yeah. One of the most beautiful locations. The whole whole area, the heather is beautiful, the, the hills, the mountains, and then this perfect castle there, knowing that we were going to be with all our old friends or some of our old yeah, friends. Yeah. And um, we obviously couldn't go in boat clothes, so we had to get glammed up, didn't I we? I hadn't worn a suit. <laughs> oh, I can't remember when the last time I wore a suit. Not, not at our wedding, even. No, Did I didn't you? even wear a suit at the wedding. I no. wore jackets and slacks. No. Um, but it was nice. It was a nice experience to get dressed up. And, and we felt like we were treated like royalty for a couple of days. And we didn't know about... Ardross Castle. We've we've never watched the program The Traitors. We'd sort of heard of it, but we'd never seen it. And um, now we've watched it, and we can see that we were like staying in and walking in all of these rooms that were on the Traitors program, and the grounds oh, and the yeah. terraces. So of course we're, we're now addicted. On it now. <laughs> we're on the episode, series two. Yeah. Anyway, the we got there on the um, Friday, and there was a meet and greet at the castle on Friday, uh, nibbles and drinks and everything. It was beautiful. And seeing everybody again. Yeah, uh, some people other... People we've met and... Um, other people, video makers and viewers yeah, were there as well. It was great. And we stayed in a little cottage in the grounds of the castle. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. And then the big day, the next day, um, everybody was all dressed up. It was wonderful, wasn't yeah. it? And they got married in... I can't remember what the name of that room was. Anyway, it was a wooden vaulted ceiling room. It was absolutely stunning. And Sean and Colin just looked even more gorgeous than they normally do in their kilts. Just, yeah, they're obviously so at home and they're so fit in up there, don't they? Yeah, and they do. lots of local people there as well in kilts. Yeah, what an amazing day. It was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And uh, we spent the day in and out of the castle, walking around the grounds, didn't we? And there was a beautiful, um, walled garden yeah. there to view so we didn't take much footage at all we took a few photos yeah. and Colin sent me a few photos so uh, I'll drop them in as we're talking it wasn't a time for filming it was a time for it being, was being with friends just, and, and enjoying yeah, and in and then just yeah. soaking up the environment yeah. is yeah. absolutely amazing so I think we've been married five years this year because Sean and Colin have been married for a long time this was a renewal of their vows mm. And they what never had think? a big wedding the first time round. No, they? neither did we, though. Either. No, I'm not renewing the vows. <laughs> I renew my vows to you every day. Oh. But that was great. The wedding day was fantastic. Everybody was great there. They had the most wonderful time. Made to feel really welcomed by Colin and Sean, especially, and their family. <laughs> their family that yeah. we've never met before so yeah. it was wonderful yeah. wonderful experience and then we went back we were really doubly lucky because Sean and Colin we didn't get much chance to talk to them on the day they no. invited us to go and stay for a couple of days with them after the wedding so we've met the bees 
<laughs> and we've met the chickens and Sherlock the owl. Yeah, and what an amazing life they've got up there! I can they've absolutely there, see they? why they've done it. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. The scenery around their home is just fabulous, and they treated us like royalty. They took us here, there, and everywhere. We had lunch with them on the lock side, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. We really, really have had fun. They took us off to a, um, drove us off to a distillery as well, oh, yeah. which nearly went badly wrong. If we'd been whiskey drinkers, that would have gone badly wrong because some of the bottles of whiskey are like, I to don't know, thousand pounds, thousands of yeah. pounds for one bottle of whiskey. Um, we got four drams to taste on the way round. And it's a good job that they drove us there, but we had to walk back, didn't we? Yeah. Us and Sean had to walk back because, um, yeah, <laughs> it was strong whiskey. Yeah, and walked back in the Scottish fresh air to sort of sobered you up a bit. Unfortunately, neither of us are big whiskey drinkers. I like a little drop now and again, but you don't really. Otherwise, yeah, we I might have had to, those, though, we might have had to like sell the me. boat to buy whiskey. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so that was great. A couple of days spending with Sean and Colleen, just relaxing and... Uh, they got us into watching The Traitors and we've been hooked, haven't we? Yeah. And seeing the castle on the telly and all the rooms we've been in, it's just uh, just amazing. Yeah. We got loads of goodies as well, didn't oh, we, from the boys? Oh, God, we've come back with whiskey marmalade, orange and lemon marmalade, honey, which is all available from them online, I think, when it's in stock. Yeah. But you've got to get in quick. Um, we came back with M&Ms with Sean and Colin's face on them. Um, <laughs> what's that cake? Oh, parking cake. Somebody yeah. made parking Family cake. Family member made parking cake. Wedding cake. Delicious. So yeah, we've, got we've got to get, got get back get on it now. <laughs> done this afternoon. But we, afterwards, we, uh, when we left Colin and Sean, we then drove the long way home-ish, uh, stayed at a beach location. Oh, man alive, it is. And saw seals in the sea, didn't yeah. we, in the estuary yeah. there. Uh, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. And as we're driving home, friends looking online at house properties up there. But, uh, nah. Don't worry. We're on it the was, boat for a It lot was longer. lovely. We've got back peaceful canal. The boat is, is lovely, obviously. I've been out and picked a little pot of wildflowers. I've got to go out and get berries and stuff now the hedgerow is dripping with uh, elderberries they're literally dripping off the trees there's damsons out there i'm not making jam because we've got all that marmalade yeah. to eat first but we'll have some we'll just eat the damsons so it was lovely to be back but the the journey there and back is the opening of a new adventure isn't it yeah how did we get there <laughs> All will be revealed in a future episode. It was a real big adventure, but it's uh, too much to talk about just now. Yeah. So, yeah. But an immense, immense weekend. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Sean and Colin, and thank you to all the viewers and everybody um, that came to say hello to us. There yeah, was a few people there that knew us, and it was lovely to see you too. So where are we now? We're still pootling our way down the Stratford and Avon Canal. We're not quite in Stratford. We're in a little village called Wilmcote. This is Saturday, isn't it? The 24th yeah. of Third August. Point, yeah. And uh, we're in this village of Wilmcote, which is where Mary Arden's house was, is. Or is not. not. <laughs> apparently now the researchers have found out that it wasn't her home. It was the home of a friend, apparently. And she lived some hundreds of yards down the road on another farm. So Mary Arden is not his mum, is it? Who is Mary it is. It's it's his mum. Oh, is it his mum? I think. I get confused. Yeah. So I've been uh, with a big fat Sharpie pen going around the village and putting not Mary Arden's home in front of all the signs. I haven't really. Bad. No, he hasn't really. I've amended our guidebook. Yeah, he has away. defaced the guidebook with not Mary Arden's house. On it. But the village itself <laughs> is, is beautiful. It's a shame about the busy road running through it. But we went for a walk around yesterday evening photographed what we could of Mary Arden's house because it's no longer open to the public and um, they have a farm there don't they where they sell their eggs and meat yeah, produce etc yeah, yeah. and then we walked down the road to the little church that's there and it's a stunning stunning little church really interesting really different to any other church I think I've been in um, and it's we're so privileged that these churches are still open for us to go on the whole occasionally you get one that's closed mm. but it 
There's so much badness in the world and so much bad news, but isn't it lovely that the churches on the whole can still stay open yeah, for you to fabulous. go into yeah. and just grab five minutes of peace and quiet when you need to. Um, lovely. So when we've got to Stratford-upon-Avon, we're going to do a little walk around of Stratford itself, um, do all the Shakespeare-y things. Shakespeare. That's where everywhere. he came from. Did you know that? Did you know that? Yeah, everything is Shakespeare's, this Shakespeare's, that. I wouldn't be surprised to see Shakespeare's toilet block. And Shakespeare's, I bet there's a Shakespeare's car park. I wonder if I can get a stick of rock with Shakespeare all the way through. I'm sure he'd be really honoured, wouldn't yeah, he? I'm sure the, he would. The, 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 I actually wrote a haiku about Stratford and Shakespeare, but I'm not sharing it because it's not very good. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> once we've been to Stratford on Avon, we're going on the River Avon down to Tewkesbury. We're going to be pretty quick about that, aren't we? We're not going to spend too long on the river. Down to Tewkesbury, where we then join the River Severn and then get down to Gloucester, onto the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal, which apparently is beautiful. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. Well, we've got to get a licence, haven't we, for the, the River, uh, Avon, river yeah. Avon. So we're just going to get a week's, I think that's about £60, 60 pounds, isn't quid it? 60 quid for a week's licence, yeah. So we're going to try and get down there in the week um, and then see where we go. So you're going fruit picking there? I'm going fruit picking. The sun's shining. We're Ish. not nervous. We don't know that we can moor up where we want today. So we don't want to go into Stratford Basin. We've got 11 locks and there's a water point. We badly need water. We're living on bottled water at the moment because we think we're about, to run, about out. to run out. isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we want to moor along where the water point is. And we're not sure that there's good moorings there. If not, we'll just have to carry on into Stratford. But mm. Stratford Basin gets very busy. If that's full up, we might have to just go straight on the river. Straight the river. But yeah. this is, you know, you're not nervous about it because we just do what we've got to do. This is what, you know? why we like this life. It's the unknown, isn't it? What's yeah. coming next? So yeah. uh, we know we've done this canal before, but five years ago, you can't yeah. remember everything. No. And, and people always tell you where you can more and more, but we just... We like the adventure, don't we? We, do. we like not knowing, so we're going off somewhere that way. Mary Arden's farm was thought for many years to be the home of Shakespeare's mother. She actually lived 30 yards away at Glebe Farm, and this house was not built until five years after she left the village. Now it's not open to the public, but is run as a farm. We can't find much information about St Andrew's Church other than it was built in the 1840s maybe to a design by William Butterfield, the Gothic revivalist architect famous for designing Keble College Chapel in Oxford and St Paul's Cathedral in Melbourne, Australia. The stunning zinc plate paintings were by a previous incumbent apparently and I'm assuming that was one of its previous vicars. Well done for reaching the end of the video. And why not visit our website floatingourboat.com where you can buy Franz Weavings, my paintings and register for updates about new products and even check out Franz recipes. See you on the next one. <laughs>